Hey folks, welcome back to Let's Play Dark Metamorphosis. Oh, well, that's not what I'm playing. I'm thinking of something else entirely. This is Death Stranding, and I'm the Mysterious JG. Um, it's time for us to take on some orders here, and we got standard bot deliveries. One or more bots of repeat, uh, completed deliveries are now available. They are slowly but surely building up our affinity here. Very slowly. B grade, that's not bad for um, the bots. It's usually kind of suck. <laughs> but delivery volume is definitely going up. So we want them delivering to Elder because I want him to not die. Um, and Junk Dealer because I want to slowly build up my affinity there. Thank you for your contribution. And then we'll do some bot orders for Elder because I really don't feel like going back up to him. He wasn't a very pleasant guy to deal with. And his base was a pain in the butt to reach. Not, like, impossible to reach or anything, but annoying to reach. So we'll get those going. I don't think we can get anything for building up our affinity with him, other than him not dying. Which, I, only, I, I accidentally spoiled that for myself, otherwise I wouldn't be worried about him at all. He'd probably be dead. We'd just stop receiving orders for him. Um, but our order for Sam... Well, that's right, we have the cosplayer. Let's save, because this one might turn out to be a pain in the butt. It is not the way the main story told us to go, but it's still a delivery for Sam, which means it's more than just completely generic delivery you can do for extra points. Usually delivery for Sam has some kind of side story or bonus of some kind. So let's go ahead and do the uh, sewing kit delivery for the cosplayer. And it looks, it looks like a nice, simple route. Um, we're not getting into that BT zone that we know about. And we're not dealing with those mules. And there's mules apparently to the south of him. Well, these are mules. Okay, there could be mules that we don't know about between here and there. But it looks like a real simple mission. Sam, got a critical request. Mm-hmm. Okay, that's actually... That one might be easy to do now because we've already knocked that camp out. <laughs> but, in fact, this is what I meant to be doing. I thought it had a briefing. It does not. Wait, what did I just select? Hold on, I got confused. Selected sewing kit delivery cosplayer. Okay. Looks like we can finally build trucks. Yeah, this all seems pretty straightforward. Um, so there's like a bunch of vehicles around here. But yeah, Mr. Nilus? Nilus. Oh, you're probably a uh, Mass Effect fan, aren't you? Anyway, I gave you a like because you seem to be a good dude, Nilus. If you do not remember who Nilus... Nihilus was a Turian. That's about all I remember about Nihilus. Is he the guy that Saren kills at the beginning of Mass Effect 1? Is like your... I'm here to examine you, Shepard. I'm going to take a good look at you. you get good out there and know it ain't easy, whatever that means. And 
Anyway, I think I'm just going south as far as I can. I got extra batteries for, like, my walkers and stuff, but I guess that doesn't count for, um... Probably doesn't count for my motorbike. Oh, there's gonna be monsters. Or something. I mean, there's gotta be some obstacle, right? Actually, stay close to the water. I don't see any reason not to right now. I mean, the battery will go quickly if it goes into water, but we should probably just try to stay by the uh, riverside as long as we can here. Reap up in this little corner here. Mm -hmm. Oh man, I really thought that was going to be a path. Well, it still kind of is a path. You can go, 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 speed racer. You redeem it always. You redeem it and you're going to be chasing after someone. Something, 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 something powerful. Mach 5. <laughs> And when the odds are against you in your dangerous work, and then you know Speed Racer will see it through. Go Speed Racer, go Speed Racer, go Speed Racer, go. Look, it's a tiny fraction of the people who stayed away from Speed Racer. Speed Racer was the big live action movie after, for the Wachowski brothers, after the massive, massive success of the Matrix game, er, uh, games. Uh, movies. They were all about Speed Racer, and um, it, it was not as successful. Okay, uh, where are you at, buddy? Is this a fucking... Oh, man, are you, like, way below us or some crap? No, he's a little further that way. Maybe? All right, what are we actually looking at here? I haven't used a uh, climbing anchor in a long time. Um, I haven't had to do this mechanic for a while, so I'm trying to get down, not up game. Okay. Yeah, I'm at the end of this. 
Okay. Don't know. I probably should have brought more of these climbing anchors, huh? It's been so long since I've used one. Okay. Alright, what else have I got access to here? It's a good thing I got two of them. Because this might do it. Either that or completely misunderstood where I'm supposed to be going to. In which case, I probably just need to load. But no, this is it. Okay, cosplay fan, you're kind of a pain in the butt to get to, aren't you? But I got everything to him in tech, or her. I'm thinking it's probably a her. That would be more sexy, but I guess we'll find out in a moment. Just because it's not a he, not a she, doesn't mean that it's not Sailor Moon cosplay that they're into. Sewing kit times two, or at least two parts of a single sewing kit, I guess. And you unlock the ability to use chiral printing to create Sailor Moon costumes. Alright. Pleased someone else. That's a change from my life. Well, you're a cosplayer, so... That's what I'm saying is that I'm okay with trying it out, just without any of the extra strings, if that's an option. I haven't looked into it at all. Would you mind doing the honors? And if it's not, would you mind doing the honors anyway, and then I'll be angry, but it'll be too late. Alright, well, we've added somebody to the Chiral Network. I guess that means we can build permanent <laughs> climbing anchors in this zone. I'm sure I'll find once we're on the Chiral Network, there's probably a... A hundred different sets of climbing anchors and ladders around here. Man, yeah, BB, you've been quiet recently, but you seem to be excited about this. Tiny, tiny little zone added. And cosplayers entered into a contract, and it, yeah, there is a bunch of stuff already here. Uh, welcome to our summer home by the falls. I'm kind of an idiot. Oh, that's Conan O'Brien, isn't it? Yeah, that's right. I heard he was in this game. You know, I, was... I know what you're thinking. Is that an otter on my head? Or am I just happy to see you? Oh, Conan. <laughs> well, both. Actually, the otter is a member of the Weasel family. I have weasels in my family, but enough about my brother. I think my father's a rat! We gotta shut him up. Man, you are tough. Hey, did you know that otters can survive without land? Conan, oh, really? They eat, sleep, even give birth all in the water. I, I, I love Conan. I mean, actual drown. items. Drown. Um, <laughs> the man is protected from three-inch bees. There's a lot of great Conan moments, but... Yeah, he's... I don't know who to hate more here. Conan's character is irritating, but in fairness, he's got another one. Huh? 
Sam Porter Bridges would not be a good audience for your stand-up, though, in fairness. We got an otter hat. I guess we could go around wearing it to show our incredible appreciation. Cosplayer wishes to express her gratitude. The cosplayer or Conan, which one? Make of any of this. Just go. Just go, okay? Yeah, and make the river your friend. That'll be fun. So do we get new dialogue with Conan, or was that kind of it as far as his participation? Because, I mean, Conan has this comic persona of being like, he's trying to be cool, but he's not. Like the whole, <laughs> like he always does that. At least he used to back. I, I haven't watched him that much since he's been on TBS, but yeah, he would always do like kind of like raw, haha, and then there would always be an element of like self mockery to it, whatever. But in this game, it's like I can't tell is Conan just being silly and lame and it's not working, or is Death Stranding just dragging him down? Because all performances in Death Stranding come across as being incredibly hollow and just emotionless. Sam Porter Bridges infects other characters with his lack of emotion. Anyway. Well, the cosplayer is uh, certainly an annoying one to find. Oh, and there's nothing here but standard orders, eh? I guess if it's to a place we're already heading back to, we can do it, but... <sighs> the Chiral Artist Studio from here. Well... Actually, if it goes to show you anything, it's that uh, probably probably our best route, pardon me, to get here, is, well, hold on, I don't know that now, now that I look at this. So we've got a whole flat path here, but then you get into this area here, had monsters. So if you kind of hug this. I guess I don't know how bad the terrain is here. Because it seems like if you had a vehicle, your obvious way to get back here would be to get to the Chiral Artist Studio would be this way. Not going all the way back up that cliff. That being said, I don't feel like doing that order. I don't think it would be a good use of our time. So let's punch by mistake because I don't understand what I'm doing. And then eventually, if I can find my own climbing anchor, great. Otherwise, I'm sure other people have left climbing anchors here. I don't seem to be finding my own climbing anchor. But now that I'm on the chiral network, it's not that necessary anymore. And this is a hologram. Well, the reverse long trike is getting beaten up. And it's looking, now it's starting to look like there was a... Where'd I leave that trike? Oh. Okay, so there was a far more... There's a far better path down if I knew about it over here. That's alright. We'll get back on our trike. Which I parked... Way nearby. Depending on how you look at it. So yeah, I didn't need to do all this with the, with the ropes if I just fully understood the whole situation, but it didn't. And that's okay. 
we're going to get out of here and head back to Distro Center south of Lake Knot City and pick up the main story again. I I guess I remembered hearing Conan O'Brien was in this game. I didn't mean to be all like snarky and just Conan O'Brien when he showed up, but yeah, there's there's just there's a very Death Stranding feeling that he he his presence was not able to overcome the general just uh, that is Death Stranding dialogue. I grab a couple chiral crystals for funsies. I mean, yeah, would I if I had a chance to appear in a Kojima game and it was like well, we're going to make it kind of comic, it's going to be a comedy scene, and you're going to you're going to be an amusing part of a Death Stranding game. Would I? Yeah, I'd probably go for it. I mean, I don't have the celebrity that that would be a thing, but if I did, I'd probably go for it, you know? Okay, let's not go down there if we can help it. Let's go... Let's try to find our way back to the route we took. Which is more like this way, yeah. I f nope, facing the wrong way. I need to be going over here. There were more crystals, which I could not be bothered to stop for, but now I suddenly will, for some reason. There we go. Oh, come on! I really wish I had just like a compass rose. I still need to be trying to make my way in this direction if I want to get back to the path I actually took before. Which we know is serviceable at least. That's a long fall. Yeah, I didn't mean to do that. Oh, and I guess it blows up after a while, too. Womp, womp, womp. Okay, baby. I'd, so what? I blew up a motorcycle. Chillax. Oh, it's like rocking back and forth, but I have to hit square first. Perhaps I'll gain affinity with BB by freaking him out and calming him down more than I would if he never got freaked out. In which case, blowing up a motorcycle was a great idea. Yeah, so that wasn't something that I meant to do, obviously. BB enjoys us running around and skipping like a goof. So, I don't think all Dragon is watching this series, and that's unfortunate that he isn't, because that's the Death Stranding equivalent of... Hitting, uh. That's the Death Stranding equivalent of, uh. Crashing your horse. Anyway, we're now running across Buell territory, which is probably not necessary, but. You know, once we've been knocked off course, let's go all the way with it. <laughs> And we're picking up special alloys, which is one resource that we were not completely maxed out on.
Um, can I activate this structure? This would actually be rather nice to have this bridge right now. Metals. I'm not carrying any metals. Which is a shame, because this would be a really good time to have some metals. Careful here. There we go. <laughs> that could have gone very poorly. I feel like I have a second um, battery that we haven't gotten credit for yet. Lost cargo for the junk dealer. I might as well grab it while we're on the way. Well, that that trip to the um, I guess. I guess we we suffer the curse of Conan O'Brien. I wasn't uh, I didn't laugh at his jokes, and um, we ended up destroying a motorcycle on our way back to base. And it was one that was built by um, um, built by a Turian. So the Turians might be angry at us now. I don't even remember now what the name, the username was of that person, but I thought it was a reference to Mass Effect. May have been a reference to something else that Mass Effect was also referencing, in which case I look like a terrible dog. I hate when I read like a wiki and it's like this character, the character in you know Mass Effect Three was named Prometheus. Prometheus is a reference, obviously, to Elder Scroll, like you know something where it's like, no, fucking Prometheus is from Greek mythology, you morons. So hopefully I didn't reference a Mass Effect character who's clearly named after something from actual non-video game culture and literature as being the source. It looks like a way through. Oh, you think you you mean you think now we might have found our way to bridges? Is that what your hope is based on our whatever? <laughs> I wonder if I'll get an email from the guy who built that trike because I fucking destroyed it. And I'll have to write back and say, I'm sorry, I was distracted by Conan O'Brien. Oh, delivery bot is completed in order. Luckily, there's 800 trucks in storage here, so we should be good. And by 800, I mean two, of course. Oh, this isn't even my truck anymore. I thought I bought a truck and parked it there, but... Yeah, are these even mule, these are not are these even considered mule trucks now? Whatever, it's all good. So we can make a delivery, deliver lost cargo, rare watches. Yeah, we're not getting down there anytime real soon. So we'll get a couple of likes for this, but not much. I mean, eventually we'll get that up to five stars, hopefully just from bot missions. That'll be fine. I'm level 200. Is that not going to go up? Is Elite Transporter as high as it goes? I don't know. Got bot deliverables. You guys are delivered to him. Slowly working up towards five stars. Ah, apparently 200 is not the top, though. <clears throat> Elder already in progress. Let's go with... Uh, Engineer, I'm less likely to encounter him along the way. I mean, I might just decide to pick up a side op for Craftsman while I have to travel by anyway, but... Um, 
honestly, the thing to do, because I'm calling it a session, even though we fairly recently rested, entering the private room would be the way to call it a session, probably. All dirty and sunglassy, we look like one of the Blues Brothers being confronted by Carrie Fisher in the sewer. Not all the robots have completed orders. Be sure to use your otter hood. Have you used your otter hood? Well, now I've got all sorts of robots free to go. Ready for action. Um, but I think I will still, instead of leaving here to send them on missions, I will save. And call it a little, a little session. And i got to call it a successful session. Because um, I never got hugely frustrated stupidest thing I did is blow up a motorcycle, but that actually ended up just being kind of funny. And uh, my computer didn't crash, so I got all the way through that session successfully. When we come back next time, folks, I've been saying it for the last couple of videos, but we're finally now, I think. And, you know, I was saying we're going to head north, we're going to get back to the story. We got, we got pulled south with that whole cosplayer thing. That was worth doing. I believe Conan O'Brien was kind of set up as, like, vaguely missable Easter egg. Like, I don't think you ever have to go to the cosplayer's place. So I'm glad we did it. I think that was worth putting off the main story for, to visit with Conan, our friend, with his um, wonderful, um, you know, Walker, Texas Ranger clips. All my all my favorite Conan bits are from, like, the 90s. Like, if I actually ran into Conan O'Brien and was like, oh, I love you, Conan, you're the best. And he's like, oh, thanks. And, uh, I, and like, we got to talking. I would probably irritate the hell out of him by just having not seen anything he's done in the last, like, 15 years. <laughs> And that would not be my intent, and I would feel bad, because when I was in college, I really enjoyed watching Late Night with Conan O'Brien. I just haven't watched... I watched him when he was on The Tonight Show. Um, that obviously didn't go the way that he wanted it to. Um, but, um, no. Haven't seen much of him recently. Sure, he's still a funny guy. Despite appearing in Death Stranding, a game which is weird. And not funny weird <laughs> catch you guys next time